If you ever wondered how much tickets for El Clasico costs on the day of the game itself, that's your answer. In this video, I want to explain to you how expensive Barcelona is. To better understand prices, I will first explain Barcelona's position and its economy. Then we will look at accommodation prices with some tips and ideas. We will cover prices of public transport with some practical tips. Next, I will talk about prices of tickets for main attractions with important tips. Then we will check prices of food and coffee. And at the end, I will give Barcelona a grade based on how expensive it is on a 1 to 10 scale. Barcelona is considered to be a major metropolis and among economically most powerful cities in Europe. It's one of the world's leading tourist, economic and cultural centers. It hosts over 120 trade shows, congresses and corporate events per year. City hosted 1992 Olympic Games and is famous for having world's best Art Nouveau architecture. All this puts Barcelona in top 5 most visited cities in Europe with over 30 million visitors a year. Economic strength of Barcelona is expected to reflect in its prices. Finding good accommodation is much easier outside of summer months. The number of visitors has more than tripled since Barcelona hosted Olympic Games. In recent years, city is facing with a lot of visitors, especially with the arrival of cruise ships in summer months. The local government made certain measures, like a ban to stop new hotels from opening. As a result, many cheap accommodations like hostels have upgraded themselves into hotels and are now more expensive. Despite that, Barcelona still offers a wide range of accommodation options. Prices for four-star hotel room are between 120 to 240 euros. In summer months, high season prices are applied in hotels and restaurants. Based on my own experience, I would recommend you to look for your room somewhere in the old historical city center known as the Gothic Quarter. You can check this video where I talk a little bit more about the best room location. All taxis are yellow and black and there are plenty. They use taxi meters, but sometimes they can add some supplement charges. There is also a minimum charge on taxis from the airport, which is 20 euros. But generally, taxi from the airport to the city center will cost you around 35 euros. If you plan to use a taxi from Barcelona airport to one of the cruise ships in Port of Barcelona, there is a flat rate of 39 euros. There is official online Barcelona taxi app to calculate taxi fares around the city. I'll put the link in the video description below, so check it out. Aerobus is the official shuttle bus service that connects Barcelona airport with the city center. The ride takes about 35 minutes, there are four stops and the final station is in Catalan Square. Aerobus runs every day from 5 a.m. to around midnight with departures on every five minutes. One-way ticket is 5.9 euros and you can save a little bit of money by buying a return ticket which is 10 euros and 20 cents. Metro and bus use the same ticket. They're also running from 5 a.m. to around midnight. You can buy tickets that cost 2.4 euro for individual journeys. 
but buying these tickets is not economical unless you will make three or less journeys. Much better option is to buy a travel card such as T10. That gives you 10 rides and costs 11.35 euro. With T10 ticket, you can save more than half the money and you can use it for more than one passenger. There are even more exciting ways of public transport in Barcelona. The Monjuic cable car is the most popular one. Barcelona's Port Cable Car is also connected to Monjuic Hill and it goes all the way down to Barceloneta Beach. This one offers great views over the seaport, the beach and La Randa Street. One-way ticket is 11 euros and round trip is 16.5 euros. The third option to get to Monjuic Hill is Funicular. This one is part of the metro network system and it's connected with L2 and L3 lines. There is no extra charge to use Monjuic Funicular since it works with a regular metro ticket. Because Barcelona is facing a lot of visitors, certain measures have been implemented to control numbers in most popular hotspots. This means that only a certain amount of people can enter on a certain hour. That's why it's a good idea to buy tickets ahead and online. This is it, Sagrada Familia. How much does it cost to get inside? Well, the basic regular ticket starts at 17 euros. I paid for mine 32 euros because it also includes audio guide and the access to one of the towers, which is really cool. And the best thing is, if you want to avoid the line spending one or two hours buying the ticket, you can do so by going online and get tickets there. The only downside is you will have to show up here at the exact hour that's on your ticket. This is Guel Park and it's one of the must-see attractions of Barcelona. There are two different areas. The monumental core, which requires the purchase of a ticket, and the free access area, which is open to all visitors at no charge. Well, the general ticket is 8.5 euros, but as you can see, there is quite a line to buy the ticket. So be smart, go online and buy the tickets ahead. Would you want to live in a house with a roof as cool as this one? I know I would. Here we have different options. I would recommend a basic ticket called Blue Ticket. This one offers a visit and augmented reality smart guide for 25 euros. If you want to avoid crowds, there is Be There First Ticket for 39 euros. With this one, you can enter the house at 8.30 a.m. before it opens its doors for the rest of the public. This is Spanish Village. It's not really a village, it's more like an open-air museum. Ticket costs 12.6 euros. Magic Fountain offers spectacular show of lights, music and water since 1929. The show is on only in the evening, so check the show times. This one is free of charge. Empanadas are popular snacks in Spain. It's a folding dough over a stuffing, which may consist of meat, cheese, veggies or something else. Prices for empanadas are around 2.5 euros. Since Barcelona is on the coast, seafood is definitely a good choice. Seafood paellas are popular and the prices vary between 25 to 35 euros for two people. You can enjoy a nice cup of coffee in a special cafe designed by Antoni Gaudí. If you visit famous Mila house known as La Pedrera, you will find a coffee place on slightly elevated ground floor. Coffee and Coke were 5 euros and 90 cents. If you wondered how much it costs to have two coffees and one large glass of natural juice on the beachfront in Barcelona, the answer is 11 euros 40 without a tip. On the worldwide cost of living chart, Barcelona is ranked 197. Considering the fact that Barcelona is among top 5 most visited cities in Europe and one of the major metropolises, I consider the prices to be reasonable. On my 
how expensive this place is scale from 1 to 10, where 1 means crazy cheap and 10 means crazy expensive, I would give Barcelona a solid 6. Meaning, not too bad. I hope now you have some better understanding about how expensive Barcelona is. If you like this video and you find it useful, give us thumbs up. Don't be shy, use the comment section below and share with us your thoughts, your experience and your ideas about Barcelona. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This way you will help us create more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.